Hey guys, I'm Matt from PSI Conversion, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove the vacuum pump on these Gen 5 engines. And why you might wanna do this is because primarily they're used to provide vacuum for the brake booster, specifically when the engine goes down into four cylinder mode. They mount right here on this lower driver side area of the engine, which might be a problem for most swaps. And when you get rid of the DOD AFM, where you're no longer gonna be going into those four cylinder modes and you're always gonna have eight cylinders, it's really not necessary. So let's get to removing it. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the serpentine belt off the front accessories to get to the actual belt for the vacuum pump. The tools, you're gonna need for this project is a half inch ratchet or breaker bar for the tensioner on the serpentine belt, 13 millimeter socket. You might also need a 13 millimeter wrench if your engine is in a vehicle or on a stand like this one to get to some of the bolts. Um, I'm gonna use a screwdriver to remove the belt. There is a special tool to remove these stretch belts, but I, uh, I have no need for it, so I'm just gonna use a screwdriver as well as a number six Allen socket or Allen wrench. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the serpentine belt first. All right, I got the serpentine belt removed. The AC belt would also normally need to be removed. However, that's long gone since we put this on the run stand. To remove this belt, they do make a special tool, like I said earlier. I'm just gonna use my screwdriver, go in between the pulley and kind of work my way around and pull the belt off because that's how they get installed and removed. If you really don't care about it, you can just cut it. belt's off, so we'll go ahead and remove the pump next. So to remove the actual pump, there's four 13 millimeter bolts. I just have to take this wire out of the way and then remove those. And as you can see, there are two oil ports for the pump that need to be plugged once you remove it. We sell a kit with these two oil uh, plugs, Allen heads. That's gonna be ACC 1059. And you're just gonna take the number six Allen and thread these plugs right into these ports. and you're all set and your vacuum pump is deleted and you no longer need that for your swap. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this helped you get your project wired up and fired up. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment with any questions or videos that you wanna see in the future. If you need to speak to one of our experts, you can call us at this phone number or either one of these email addresses. We'll see you in the next video.